The Catholic Health Association of the United States is pleased to offer this brief meditative practice. Welcome friends, I'm Laura from the Center for Compassionate Leadership. One thing we rarely get to do is to be quiet, to be still. And that is one of the quickest, most effective ways to de-stress, to calm, to invite renewal, restoration, and receiving in. As most of us are givers, we spend our days giving out. And take this moment with me to let the mind be the mind, the name of a beautiful poem, and help move us into a silent, quiet space. Close the eyes or soften the gaze or just Keep the eyes open if you must and look at one particular object. The idea is to let the mind and the eyes soften. Let the mind be the mind. Behind its restless activity, just one layer deeper is stillness. And beneath even that is an ocean of mystery and truth. Swim in this eternal sea until you know yourself to be infinity. and bring that knowing back into your day. Why struggle to be what you already are? Let the mind be the mind, but don't bind yourself to its limited reality. Trust your experience of vastness. Trust the truth that never loses potency or disappears in fear. Let the mind be the mind and identify not with thought, but silence. A beautiful poem by Donna Folds. Let the mind rest. As you notice what swings by, just let it go. Let it move. Don't jump on the bus and take a trip with the thoughts. Let the thoughts float by. Be kind to yourself as you're watching your thoughts. There is no wrong way. There is no doing this right. There is just being quiet and still and allowing whatever happens to happen and to know that you are loved and you are held. All is well.